Mo Misters, The Missing Link, by TCAT Hauser, www.trcb.me slash TCAT. Fair warning. This article is a little bit technical. And I'll do my best to keep it understandable for the Ormal. In April 2008, our Stanley Williams of HP Labs announced the discovery of the Moister. If the term Moister is alien to you, don't feel bad. It has been only a theory in electronics, waiting to be discovered. It is the fourth and final type of electronic component that has proven elusive. All the stuff you use in electronics, from TV, radio, computers and more are all based on the use of resistors, capacitors and inductors. So the discovery of the elusive Mimister proved quite exciting in certain circles. I had brought up the announcement of the Mimister to a mail list of fellow geeks. I asked them if this was a big deal as I thought it was really big. Almost everyone agreed this is in fact, huge. Backing up a little, Leon Kua at the University of California Berkeley wrote an IEEE paper in 1971, he used mathematics to deduce the existence of a fourth circuit element type after resistors, capacitors and inductors, which he called the Mohister. Kua came up with that name because it remembers changes in the current passing through it by changing its resistance. As a user of electronics we benefit Kua says this new circuit element solves many problems with circuitry today, since it improves in performance as you scale it down to smaller and smaller sizes. Mohisters will enable very small nanoscale devices to be made without generating all the excess heat that scaling down transistors is causing today. So for us it means smaller devices that are more powerful, while using less power. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. The theory is just that until someone actually builds something. And HP labs have done that. The RRAM resistive random access memory is expected to be a commercial product in a matter of months. This memory remembers its state without power, just like a USB thumb drive does. However, RRAM is currently much smaller in size and is already able to switch in or off in about 50 nanoseconds. In short, it appears that another piece of Star Trek was right. What was off base is it taking 200 years to get there. This won't give us warp speed or beam me up yet. And we really don't know what the ultimate outcome of the Mohister will mean. The first practical application sure is exciting though. TCAT Hauser TCAT Hauser is a trainer in information technology as well as assisting people understand the most complex computer all, the human brain. This necessitates his being a professional road warrior. As a certified technical trainer and subject matter expert SME at trcb.com it can be difficult to figure out what TCAT is currently researching. Help me please. I am number 2 on Twitter in Mexico. Can you help to become number 1 on Twitter by following me on Twitter follow me Twitter.